welcome to AIWF Worldwide. I'm Scott Island. Here's what's happening in your world tonight. There is a new AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion, and his name is Rob McBride. Rob the Boogie Woogie Man McBride defeated Scrapyard Dog August 25th to win the coveted title in a no disqualification match at Thomasville, North Carolina's Back to School Bash, thwarting the efforts of the champion and three members of the old school mafia in the process. In a seesaw matchup, Old School Mafia Don Rick Diesel was ejected from the building for shoving a referee after the official broke up one of the last of many two-on-one attacks. Also, Old School Mafia members Delicious Drake Tungsten and the Manaconda Matt Houston broke up a McBride pinfall only to be countered when the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions, the Star City Rollers, rushed to the aid of the embattled Boogie Woogie Man. Shortly thereafter, McBride hit Scrap with his patented Saturday Night Superstar Power Slam and pinned the champion for a narrow but decisive victory. Let's go to Thomasville, North Carolina, where I interviewed the new champion shortly after the match. Thank you very much. This is Scott Island reporting from the AIWF Mid-Atlantic event in Thomasville High School, Thomasville, North Carolina, where Rob McBride, the Boogie Woogie Man, the People's Champion, finally, after months and months of chasing him, finally got to Scrapyard Dog and defeated him <laughs> decisively. <laughs> right there, baby. Right superstar. there. Woo, Mustang. Scott, we did it. Yes, sir. We did it, man. I'm going to tell you, man. Everybody wanted Boogie. Boogie, why you want to make this match no disqualification? Man, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to tell all the people. Look here. You know how the old fool mafia is. They said, hmm, no disqualification. That means their boys can run in and do whatever they want to. Yeah. But they don't understand. See, they call me old and senile. And that, you know, I've been hitting the head with a cherry too much, right? But <laughs> they don't understand. I got bird dogs too, man. And I told my guys, I said, if you see the old fool mafia, hit the ring, come get them. What happened? They came and got you. Jo Jody Osborne and Jimmy Gennetti came to your... That's right, aid. baby. That's right. Jody Osborne got Chia Pet and Mama's boy out the ring. And then boom, 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 rock and roll, baby. What happened? Woo, boogie, woogie. Saturday Night Superstar. One, two, three. New Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion. Man, I'm going to tell you what, man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This don't belong to me. This belongs to all the peoples. And I couldn't have done it with all of y'all, man. With y'all behind the boogie, man. I'm so happy. I feel so good, man. Hey, you know what? I got to start celebrating. I'm going to start with y'all. Feel... Ah, woo, man. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. I love y'all people, man. Woo, let's say, yeah. Boogie Woogie, man. Now probably vaults the top five of AIWF's worldwide rankings. And I need a Tic Tac. Per AIWF bylaws, former champion Scrapyard Dog is entitled to a rematch which should put, take place at the earliest opportunity. Rumors are swirling that this rematch will take place at the newly minted AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling Event Center in Mount Airy on September 22nd. But stay tuned to AIWFMidAtlantic.com and AIWFWrestling.net for more information. Speaking of the Star City Rollers, Jenny Gennetti is in good condition after suffering severe lacerations at the hands of Rick Diesel and Matt Houston at War Games August 18th. Reacting to Jody Osborne being handcuffed to the ropes by Diesel, Gennetti eluded three officials and quite possibly the laws of physics and was able to interject herself into the War Games battle. Gennetti paid a hefty price as Houston repeatedly rammed her head into the steel cage, causing profuse bleeding that obscured her vision and left reading sighted observers wondering if paramedics needed to be called. Je Jenny was able to join the Star City Rollers at the bash last week, and they had a message for the old school mafia. Let's go to Jimmy Gennetti in Thomasville for more. AIWF, old school mafia, the victory that we got after the war games it was not sweet. We didn't get enough for you. And this, right here, this, this, we will have payback for this. Two dislocated fingers, 
stitches for the first time in 15 years. The victory was not sweet, but I guarantee you, we're coming back for you. This is not over. Before they can exact any sort of revenge on the old school mafia, the tag champs must defend their belt September 22nd against Team Throwdown, the natural born playa and ASAP, who earned the title shot by defeating the Killbillies in a number one contender match at Deal with the Steel. For updated information, be sure to visit AIWFMidAtlantic.com and AIWFWrestling.net daily. But until our next telecast, this is Scott Island reporting. Thank you for watching.